Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Young Twan and I'm back with another video. So as you can see from the title in this video, I'm gonna show y'all how to make some analog dark type of samples for Travis Scott. So the first thing I did, I opened up Analog Lab and I picked this Amadeus preset from a Nahum Analog Lab bank. And I went ahead and laid down these chords. So the sound is quite bare, so I added some effects to make it a bit more interesting. First, I added this plugin called Plexitape from Audiority, which is a delay reverb type of plugin. Next, I added this plugin called Backmask. All this does is just add some cool reverse textures, and I turned the mix down to around like 10%. Next, I used an EQ to cut the low end out. And finally, a good hertz wow control with the good cassette preset, turning down the color and turning up the saturate to kind of add that detune effect. So with the effects, it sounds like this. Next thing I did, I opened up Analog Lab again and picked this Dreamland preset from a loophole Analog Lab bank. And all this is is basically an arpeggio and I copied and pasted the same chords. So it sounded cool, but I wanted to add some effects so that it serves more as like a background type of texture. To do that, I added a plugin called the Orb from Audio Thing. I added a guitar rig with no preset just to add some bit of modulation. Then I have this EQ that's not doing anything. And I have another EQ cutting the lows out and cutting these frequencies right there. And now for this sound, I did something quite interesting. I added a halftime with these settings, but I automated the smooth knob to get a cooler effect. And so that the sound serves more as like a texture, as I said. So without the automation, this is what it sounds like. Like. and with the automation And now finally, I wanted a top line melody, so I went into arcade and picked this Alien Blues bank, and I played this F5 note, which sounds like this. So obviously this sounds very dry, but I added some effects to make it sound cooler. Firstly, I added an EQ to make this frequency a bit less harsh. Next, I added this reverb intensity from Arturia with the lo-fi room preset. Then I used the Murder Melodies plugin, turning down the amount to under 50%. Then I used a spring reverb from Arturia with the Gibbs room preset. I turned off this effect rack right here, but then I added last two EQs, one cutting down the lows and another one kind of taming down these highs right there. So with the effects, this is what it sounds like. Next up, I wanted to add a texture, so I added this only one percussion loop. Then I added some effects. I added this EQ with the bandpass narrow preset, another EQ cutting some more lows out, a spring reverb from Arturia, and another reverb intensity from Arturia with the lo fi room preset again. And then finally, I added a shaper box with a panning automation on the lead arcade sound, along with a portal with this clouds preset. And then I ended up bouncing the whole sample out as a whole. And I ended up adding these final effects. I added a pre child compressor from Waves, a good hertz wow control, a spin from Clevgran with the default preset turning down the mix to 9%. I added this J37 from Waves with the Aquarium preset, also turning down the mix to around 15%. And then finally, a Fab Filter EQ cutting the lows out. And yeah, here's what it sounds like. So yeah, guys, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.